there is a, a Republican uh, state representative in New Hampshire that has um, been saying and, and pushing things about Satanism and cults and devilish things to an extent that everyone on both sides of them are trying to figure out, hey, bro, what are you talking about? Um, let's jump right in this, again from New Hampshire, some of the details here from the Daily Beast. Uh, New Hampshire State Representative Ken Weiler, uh, he blasted colleagues uh, inboxes in a document entitled The Vaccine Death Report that claimed vaccine injections were murdering millions of people. The lengthy document that the 79 year old chair of the House Finance Committee, he's the chair of the House Finance Committee in New Hampshire. He sent it to his colleagues and he claimed that the vaccine is part of a plot to gain 100% control over the minds of all humanity. I'm gonna say it again. He's the chair of the House Finance Committee and he's sending out a seven, how long is this? 52 page letter, which we'll find out about the vaccine and its plot to gain control over everyone. The Finance Committee, okay. Um, the report also made claims that 5G technology had somehow been inserted into the vaccine to control people's thoughts. It also claimed that both the Moderna and Johnson & Johnson vaccines were examined under a microscope, whose I don't know, which revealed a tentacled creature in each vial that moves around, this quote, quote, moves around, lifts itself up, and even seems to be self-aware. Okay, so there's octopi in our bodies now. Uh, we're gonna get to some of the Satanism and stuff in a second. But first, uh, um, I feel like you don't have to really take yourself seriously anymore. This is straight out of a sitcom, but he's kind of being serious or he's trying to fundraise or he's trying to galvanize some kind of support. Maybe he heard someone say, hey, what's his name again? Hey, Ken, how about you say something crazy and try and raise some money and stand out? It's all about being seen rather than making sense. I don't know where this is gonna go next. Um, but he also had some issues about some, uh, some, some of the Catholics in the country. Um, his report continued on, it alleged that multiple popes had answered to a hidden leader known as the Gray Pope. <laughs> it says in part that the Supreme Puppet Master operates entirely in the shadows from where he wields enormous power over the world. We must understand that this criminal network is, a highly, is highly spiritual in nature, and all who are at the top are involved in dark, ancient spiritual practices. To put it bluntly, they are Satanists, also called Lucif Lucifer Luciferians. I don't know the terms, yes. sorry. The Luciferians. Uh, and uh, one more part about this, it's all one huge puppet theater, where the majority of the people, even most, even most of those who are complicit haven't got the slightest clue what's going on and how everyone is being played. His report uh, pretty much concludes there. So we've got gray popes, we've got uh, horned, do we have horned people there? No, gray popes, puppet masters, they're working from the shadows, all because you get vaccinated. Are you scared yet? Hmm. Are you scared yet? Hmm. <laughs> well, you know, I wouldn't be surprised at this point if he comes forward and says, oh, it's a typo, I meant gray poop. <laughs> but like, this guy is so outlandish. I just, I'm so bothered by the fact of how many people have lost touch with reality. You know, I get having a little bit of fun. I still like to think there are unicorns. You know, don't fault me. <laughs> but like, when you go this far, also, too, there are people who are like Satanist out there. This yeah. is probably very disrespectful to them. Well, what is it the Let's Satanists do? Because I hear about that, but then I'll, I, I never know the degree of of um, of seriousness that even folks who who identify as such would claim to be. Because sometimes it's just again we talked earlier about like you know the social media aspects and getting attention and these challenges and everything. I wonder sometimes people go, hey, I'm a Satanist, and then you know they kind of post a couple of pictures of some horned figure or a goat that has the body of a man, and then they're not really Satanists. What is a Satanist? I know it's Bro, a real thing, I, but I, I think a lot totally of people don't really, look at this. It's got some fun music on me. Uh, but I don't know if they're really, I don't know, whatever the numbers really may be, or if they're just in response sometimes to, you know, religious folks who believe in certain entities and then they're making fun of them. I just don't know where the line is drawn. But apparently, uh, Mr. Weiler is all over it. Um, so. In response to some of that, uh, there's been criticisms from both sides of the aisle, as I pointed out before. State, uh, State Representative Suzanne Vail, she called it 52 pages of lies. Do not, listen, do not listen to him or believe anything he says, she wrote on Twitter. It's a sad day and I'm sorry to make this request. Uh, Chris Sununu, he's also another Republican. I'm sorry, a Republican, uh, Suzanne Vail was a Democrat, but also Sununu is a Republican. He said that he should lose his committee chair. I've repeatedly expressed directly to the Speaker, uh, Speaker Packard, 
about the need to remove Weiler from his position of leadership. These latest absurd emails have accelerated the urgency that the speaker needs to take action. I'm not sure what he's gonna do with it next, which maybe this is why nothing is gonna happen to this particular guy. The House Speaker and the Senate President who serves on the Fiscal Committee with Representative Ken Weiler had known about his document for 24 hours on Tuesday afternoon. They have they've ignored requests to answer questions about it. House Speaker Sherman Packard provided a statement that said it's not uncommon whether one agrees or disagrees with the content for a committee chair to share constituent information with committee members. What information though? He, no, this is legit a, a sci-fi book. I think John talks about how he likes to write sometimes since we're talking about authors and writing of books. But does this, I can't see this type of stuff catching on with anyone or convincing anyone to do or not do something with vaccinations and COVID and puppet masters. Why? I, I think I could run for state representative and get further than this guy. <laughs> well, you never know. But I don't know. For me, I start when you start to see individuals out there who have these outlandish thoughts, theories, mindsets, and pushing these agendas and propagandas and all that stuff that are representatives. For people, it starts to tell me essentially what the temperature of our nation is like. And it just seems that more and more we'll have these representatives who just are just Captain Crackpots. And it really makes me fear going out in public because, hey, somebody put that individual in that position of leadership. And that's really scary. <laughs> and also, really he got scary. voted in, like, and probably gonna win again. I don't know how much people pay attention to this stuff, but this definitely won't be a rallying cry for any reelections. Um, but again, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be. You don't have to make much sense as long as you get some attention um, and your name is out there. It's enough that, oh, I remember seeing that guy's name. I can't remember what for, it was something about Satanists and um, gray popes and all that. But we don't hear about the things that are happening. I think it was France. How much did you read in this story? Um, with uh, the the it wasn't necessarily the post, but it was the religious leaders in France and the rampant sexual abuse and uh, of children and all that. I wish there was attention put on that to a degree yeah. that people talking about Satanists and everything and 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 uh, what was it again? Um, the uh, this new religion that I didn't know about. Um, it's not the Satanists. It's the the Luciferians. That's yeah. what they are. I don't know. It's, it's actually not that bad of a name. I'm just not, you know, I've, I've heard worse. <laughs> it makes you think first of a Rastafarians, but. It does. Right? That's why I, was I like, didn't want to say it. Maybe I could get with this. <laughs> Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get. Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.